Hi, this is Akaji Vishwakarma once again. Topic on uh, electrical DC machines. In DC machines, we will be covering two topics. One is DC generators and another is DC motor. First of all, we will start with DC generator. What is DC generator? <coughs> We we'll start with DC generator. Um, DC generator is an electrical machine which converts a mechanical power to electrical power through the medium of magnetic induction. So, if it is a machine, suppose if we are providing some mechanical power to it, it is converting into uh, electrical rotating power. In the same way, if we are applying it uh, electrical power in the machine, it is getting converted into a mechanical power which is called as the electrical motor. So when it is from mechanical to electrical, it is called as generator. When it is from electrical to mechanical, it is called as motor. So this is the way uh, mechanical energy is converted to electrical, electrical energy is converted to mechanical by the process of magnetic induction by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, Lorentz force and some other also. We will be discussing those in a few minutes. First of all, uh, I would like to tell you that an electrical machine which is working as a uh, generator, first of all, it means that we are driving it by a prime mover, means we are giving a mechanical energy to it, something is happening in here and it is getting converted into electrical energy. So, the same machine can be used as a DC motor when we are supplying electrical energy to it. It is going into the magnetic domain. Magnetic domain is getting converted into mechanical power, then it is called as a motor. So, now we will see the construction of a DC machine. <coughs> We will be having a quick look at DC machine's construction. What is that? Again, a round will come, which is a yoke of the machine, which is providing the rigidity to the machine and which is holding the machine exactly. This is the frame on which the machine is mounted. After that, there are some ports. Right now, I am uh, talking about four pole machine or two pole pair machine. So, all these will be alternating north and south in nature. This would be north, this would be south, or whatever, this would be south, whatever. So, now going to that first of all. These are called like the poles. On which wiring is there? Some wiring is there. These are not the permanent magnets for top, but they are the electromagnets. When they are not in agile by an electrical energy, they are a piece of iron, but when electricity passes through it, it becomes an electromagnet. So this electromagnet passes through 
Another thing, the magnetic energy is passing through the air gap and cutting the armature. This another round which is in the center is called the armature of the machine. It is having some slots to have the winding inside these small blue color circuits. Right now, created by a circle, but just say to tell you that they are called as the armature core, uh, armature slots actually, in which the windings will be placed. Armature windings will be placed in this. And since we are talking about PC generators, there will be a small thing which is called as the commutator, which is called as the commutator, commutator uh, serve the purpose of uh, converting AC to DC or DC to AC. In a generator, in DC generator, it serves the purpose of converting alternating current to DC. This is a very important point again to remember for Objective okay, type of questions that in generator in generator particularly it does the work from AC to DC and in motors it's work at power DC to AC. This is called a commutator. Which is an important part. We will discuss in that what commutator exactly it is and what it does, what is the purpose of the commutator. We will see that. But just for the construction's point of view, I am telling you that this is a this is called as the commutator. Now coming to the Another thing which is mounted on the commutator, which is shown in black right now, from these the wiring will be coming out of the machine. Um, these are called the pressures which are actually touching the commutator and uh, if they are pressed by a string so that uh, there is not a uh, harsh press on the commutator, they are just placed on the commutator so that they can collect current from or they can give current to the machine. So these are called the brushes. These are called the brushes. Both, both are called as brushes. Um, again, this is called a frame on which the machine is mounted. This is called a yoke. These black wirings are called a field wiring. This blue one, blue thing, which is uh, called as a pole and pole shoe. This part is called as a pole shoe. We will be discussing that also. After that, this thing is called as the armature again. These are called the armature slots. In which armature wiring is there. They are having a wiring. This is called commutator, this is called brushes. We already discussed those. So now coming again to the construction, what is what, what is what is the use of what. Now coming to first of all pole and position. Let us say that these poles are uh, mounted on the loop of the machine and they serve as a purpose of giving the electromagnet, giving the electrical energy, providing the electrical energy to the machine. 
in the form of magnetic uh, magnetic domains. These are called the pole shoes. They actually serve two purposes. First of all, they as since the shape of the pole shoe is like uh, horseshoe, the, that's why they are they are named as shoe. This is the pole tips. In this way, they are actually this part. So actually, the upper of the pole shoe is to support the pre binding. First of all, otherwise the pre binding will collapse into the armature, and there may be a short circuit when the machine is working on high speed. And or when the machine is having a jerk kind of things. So uh, to support the free binding, there should be something which is mounted uh, below the pole, and that which is called as a pole shoe. Another thing which is done by the pole shoe is that since if I am having a pole like this, so what will happen? The uh, feed of the uh, pole. Will be like somewhat like this, which is not desirable. I want to have the spread of the field so that the uh, conductors will be having the uh, proper magnetic field when they are cutting it. So rather than making my uh, my pole like that, I have a different construction which is called as a pole shoe, so that these are such is designed in such a way. That they give the magnetic flux like this, so that the magnetic flux reaches the uh, armature in a proper way. The, another thing. Now we will be discussing about the armature slots. These are called armature slots, and they are in such a big way that they are actually flat in nature. Actually, it's flat in nature, so the armature binding is forged into that, and after that, uh, when the armature is rotating, so it is supporting the armature binding also. Uh, they are made in such a way that the armature binding does not go out of the uh, armature, so they are tapered at the outer end, they, and they have a bigger uh, weight. Once you find enlarge this thing. This would be like somewhat like this, so that when the armature binding is placed inside, it will not go out when it is in the centrifugal force. And centrifugal force of this will be working outside, so it will not come out. So this is the way the uh, armature slots are there. Coming to back to the commutator, uh, what? Commutator exactly is commutator is a rectifier. When we talk about the DC machine, a very important part in DC machine is that it should have a commutator, which is serving two purposes. One, one it is converting AC to DC when it is in generator, and when it is working as a motor, it is uh, converting it from DC to AC. This is the purpose of the commutator to have the rectification of the uh, output or the input. Correct. When I am talking about the motor, then it is uh, in the uh, output would be my AC. So, uh, but it is done in DC. And coming to the, there are two types of wiring. One is called the free wiring, which is actually providing the flux to the machine. And these are the armature winding, which is actually giving the rotation because of these two. Collides with each other, and the, you know, something happens, which we will discuss later. And our motor rotates, or my generator starts working. <coughs> Now, coming to another part of this thing is that when I talk about the brushes, what is the use of the brushes? Again, the brushes are placed in such a way that they are in the magnetic and neutral axis. We will be talking about magnetic neutral axis as well as magnetic neutral axis also, and then and GN after uh, after one. What are brushes actually? They are actually collecting the current or giving the current to the machine when the, we are talking about when we talk about DC machine. This is about the construction of the total DC machine.